Hi, I'm Silver. I'm the owner and developer of the True Survival RP community. I'm doing this tutorial video today to show you how to install server-side mods on your server running Omega Manager. I'm doing this video on behalf of Glowglaw, the creator of the BRDM2 armored vehicle, the Hilux Ute, the Ford Fairlane 500, as well as a wide variety of other vehicles that she's created. She is a very talented individual. Now to show my support of her work, that's why I'm doing this tutorial video to help her out. Now to get started, you'll need a FTP client. All right? I use FileZilla. Uh, I've already got it all configured, ready to go, so I'll connect straight through to my server. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to access the root folder of your Omega Manager. You'll know you're in the root folder because the Omega Manager executable will be in that file. Alright, then what we do is click on servers, access the server you wish to manipulate, and then you drag in the folder that you need. Alright, I've already got this one right here, so I'd go upload, and I'll just sent that straight across to there. So I've just updated this folder straight across to here, and what we need to do now is download Omega config. Open that up, make the adjustments, but I've already done this further ahead of time, so you can just copy what I've done. So I've added this extra entry right here. So the directory is hilux underscore server. Uh, it's all case sensitive, so make sure you've got the capitals in there too. Disable updates set to true, and server side set to true. If there's any updates available, uh, the owner of the mod of course would contact you, let you know, and therefore you'd have to manually update that. Unlike any other mod that's on the workshop where you'd find that it's got a file ID, this one has no file ID since it's obviously only on the server side. So once you've put that information into there, you go up to here, click there and then just go save all and then save this whole script. That is if you're using Visual Studio Code like I am, uh, you could be using uh, Notepad++ or some other type of uh, code editor. Then what we do is we'd send it back to the server. Okay, sent over. And then you access your server. Alright. Now it's appeared right here. And it'll say not installed. Uh, it is installed, however it's not going to say it's installed simply because it's not connected to the workshop. So ignore that part, it already is installed. And as you'd see, compared to these other ones, how they're all set, this one here is set completely different, because it's server side only. And that is pretty much it. You would uh, do a restart on your server, so you may need to shut down, go OK, but I'm not going to do that because I've got people on there right now and then you just restart it. Then after that, that mod would take effect. Uh, as you can see, right here on that bottom line right there, server mod, Hilux server. So it recognizes this mod is active on my server. All right, no worries. Thanks for watching.